Hello there, Tunibai here. Welcome back to Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition. Oh, good. It's loaded those at the main menu. Basically, I clicked resume from the main menu of just Legendary Edition, and I thought it was just going to load me straight into the mission, and I was like, oh wait, wasn't I supposed to be, like, bracing myself for some, like, dialogue, because we ended it at the beginning of the mission or something? But, uh, but y yeah, no. So, uh, I had to start the recording dead quick, but it's fine. We're fine. Are we not missing some dialogue or anything? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh well. Smells like smoke and death. Looks like smoke and death. Let's have a look around. Oh, I can't fall off there, can I? All right, okay. Uh, what does that say? O4 LN. No. Nope. SRN NT70. Is that what that says? Okay, I can do a bit of a sprint, but... I swear this is a change sprint. What the no. hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. It's good to know. Go up and speak to him. Well, I'll speak to him, but... Do you know I'm... Do you know what? I don't know whether to say I like this detail or not, but I'm pretty sure this is literally the only time in the... In Mass Effect 1 or 2, maybe Mass Effect 3, I don't know. But, but Mass Effect 1 and 2, that you even encounter them, they're just on this planet. And as far as I'm aware, you only come to this planet once. And they're only, they're only in this one particular area as well. Like, this is it. You see them, and then they're not there for the rest of the game, or the rest of the franchise. Oh, great kit. Ooh. Take all. Uh, reduced Omnigel, I don't think we'll need to do that. Um, Omnigel is very useful, but we're going to be using as little of it as possible. Um, upgrade, first aid interface, and shock absorbers. Uh, uh, yeah, sure. Oh, code ice logs. Okay, let's do this. Weapons, armor, and equipment. Oh, wait, what was that? Advances in technology have made individual soldiers more dangerous and survivable than ever before. The development of practical manufacturing Omnitools allows modern militaries a great deal of flexibility in equipment loadouts. Equipment loadouts. A vast number of field modification kits or upgrades are available for common equipment such as weapons, arm armor, Omnitools, biotic amps, and even grenades. An upgrade kit typically consists of less than a dozen unique parts and an optical storage disk. When loaded into an Omnitool, the OSD provides or Provides all technical specifications required to manufacture the tools and additional parts necessary to install the upgrade onto another piece of equipment. Assembly is typically modular, and installation can be completed in less than a minute. Since Omnitools are designed to use common battlefield salvage materials such as plastics, ceramics and light metals rendered into semi-molten Omnigel for quick use, it is quite possible for a trained soldier carrying upgrade kits to customise gear on the battlefield to fit the current tactical situation. Nice! So, we can do upgrades in this game. Because third person action RPG. Bioware. The original original developers working on your space action third person RPG. <laughs> and I look forward to it. I bopped my mic, I apologize. Planets and locations. The terminus systems are located on the far side of the Attican Traverse, beyond the space administered by the Citadel Council or claimed by the Human Systems Alliance. It is populated by a loose affiliation of minor species. United only in their refusal to acknowledge the political authority of the Council or adhere to the Citadel Conventions. Their independence comes at a price. The Terminus is fraught with conflict. War among the various species is common, as governments and dictators constantly rise and fall. The region is a haven for illegal activities, particularly piracy and the slave trade. At least once a year, a fleet from the Terminus invades the nearby Attican Traverse. These attacks are typically small raids against poorly defended colonies. The Council rarely retaliates, as sending patrols into the Terminus systems could unify the disparate species against their common foe, triggering a long and costly war. Except with the Skillian Blitz. Yeah, we tore them a new one with that one. The Milky Way galaxy contains 200 to 400 billion stars, most with a host of planets. Uh, and that's, oh no, we've got this one. Aliens, extinct races, spacefaring species that went extinct thousands of years before the present. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. What is that picture? They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. 
They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Prothean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. The Hanar homeworld of Kaje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. Makes sense. Journal, prologue, find the beacon. You are in charge of the ground team dropped onto Eden Prime, an alliance colony under attack. Your primary goal is to find and secure the Prothean beacon. Head to the dig site, make your way to the excavation site where the beacon was unearthed. Uh, squad, right, let's level up our squad. Uh, throw, he's a biotic, right, aren't you, dear Caden? Uh, from the cast there with a force of 600 newtons, wow. I don't know how much that force is. Uh, barrier, maybe. Uh, decryption, I could, do you know what, you ne uh, I need you to be able to help me decrypt stuff. Why is it, why can I only put one point in that? First age, uh, sure. Oh, maybe I should have done this. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Oh, Richard Jenkins. Uh, pistol. Uh, assault training. Sure, go and soldier. There we go. I should probably be a little bit more careful about the points I put into people's skills, but <laughs> ah. right, let's make our way over there. Oh, I can get my guns out already. Okay, that's good. Get rid of that, please. Can I? Thank you. Ah, there we go. I literally didn't know. That's how I get that out. Nice. This is me, right? This is, no, no, there we go. That's my weapon. These are my weapons. There we go. Here we go. Oh, poor Jenkins. Got him. Jenkins, get up, man! Rip right through his shields. I have a chance. Shame. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. For some weird reason, I thought we'd gone, uh... I thought, I thought, I thought we'd gone first person there for a second. Right. Oh yeah, I forgot, you don't need to reload in this game, do you? <laughs> that was a grenade! I don't know if it exploded or... Oh, it exploded, I heard it. Right. What? Oh, I just put my guns away. I probably don't want that to do that. Uh, let's look at the journal, shall we? Uh, Jenkins is dead, but you have to press onto the dig site. Alright, codex. Oh, God. Genetic barriers, more commonly called shields, provide protection against most mass accelerator weapons. Whether on a starship or a soldier's suit of armor, the basic principle remains the same. Kinetic barriers are repulsive mass effect fields projected from tiny emitters. These shields safely deflect small objects traveling at rapid velocities. This affords protection from bullets and other dangerous projectiles but still allows the user to sit down without knocking away their chair. The shielding afforded by kinetic barriers does not protect against extremes of temperature, toxins, or radiation. That's good to know. Because we will get those environments in this game. He's needed to heal injured squad members. Is he injured? Oh, he is injured. Uh, 
be used by my description. Let's try to challenge it, but we find everything can be in open containers. Okay. Uh. Oh, I healed him. Nice. Whoa. Oh my god, I can shoot through that. That's nice. Brilliant. Got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. And I'm making a lot of wrecks. Check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Oh, that's my overheat down there in the bottom. Bottom left. It's your as your command, attack your target. Uh, have Swiss got me to a point uh, or attack the targeted enemy. We group follow you. Nice. Got him. Nice. Alright, everything's clear. How do I crouch? Oh. I think we recognize her. What do you guys think you are doing? That's just not nice. I'm seeing you here. Ah, oh, that's how you crouch. Hello, chats! Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. You would. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Yeah. Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Alright. Where's everyone else? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. <laughs> you can be such a dickhead in this game. <laughs> I almost want to, just for the sake of it. It's like... Alright, I'm sorry. When people say that some options, it, it, like, when people say that Mass Effect 2, um, oh, most of the options only, while the criticism is mostly valid, when people say all the, all the, ne all the, um, renegade options in Mass Effect 2 are basically just there for the sake of being bad options, like, they don't, there's no practical reason to use any of them. Mass Effect 1 had the fair share. There's no reason to behave this way. <laughs> this isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. I'm hired to, I'm yes, hired to a renegade playthrough, you know. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Alright then, come with us. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Alright, and who are the Geth? What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Okay, so by the time we get to Mass Effect 3, can you remember those few lines, please? Specifically, that last one. That, that last one, just, just this one on the screen right now. Let's just remember that line when we get to Mass Effect 3. Oh, I'm going to rant about it. I'm going to rant about it. Anyway. Beacon. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. All right. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Millennia, quite possibly. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? 
I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Maybe. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Maybe they're... Have you seen a Turian oh. Spectre around oh. here? <laughs> Skip there aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Mm, interesting. I wonder where he is. Alright, let's go. Move out. I like how he points and it's like, no, no, Commander. Y you take point. You're the... You're the commander. You. <laughs> anyway. Right. Upgrade kit. Oh, okay then. Uh, nice to take all these rounds and and upgrades. Uh, change your team's equipment. Press that to. Do. Okay, cool. Um, codex. Uh, aliens, non-council races, spacefaring species without the political power to set galactic policy. The Geth are a humanoid race of networked AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence, an individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless terminus systems. The Perseus veil, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust, lies between their space and the Terminus systems. So, no spoilers, but just so that we all have the information fresh in our heads when I do that rant. Mm. So, just remember, they disappeared into no one's seen the Geth for 200 years. They were created 300 years ago. That means that the Geth have been non-hostile for two out of three thirds of their existence. And the one third in which they were hostile was when somebody else basically tried to kill them. Just remember that for Mass Effect 3. No spoilers, don't worry, it's not what you think it is. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, don't worry, it's not a spoiler. It's just just preparation. I ever playing this game both makes me love Mass Effect 1 and 2 and hate Mass Effect 3. And I've not even played it, but like I said, I've seen like the ending and all that. I've seen probably about half the game. <laughs> Quite a few times, because I don't know, I'm passionate about this kind of thing. Uh, melee damage, I don't think we're gonna be doing a lot of meleeing. Combat armor. Probably do with that to be honest. Assault rifles. Uh, I don't know how. Wait, can she be trained in sniper rifles? When using assault rifles. How do I unlock sniper rifles? Assault rifle 7. Okay, right. I'm gonna start leveling up. Actually, I don't really want. Alright. Um. Right, okay. Oh, I've got an idea. No, it's okay. I don't... I don't plan on using Caden Elenko in my squad a whole bunch, so I'm probably going to be pretty whatever in terms of their... Um, their skill points just now. Uh, I'm probably going to be pretty... Wow, those guys are... Those guys have been drained to actual bones. Uh, runs to the waypoints they cover behind the rock. I'll do that in a second. Uh, yeah, I probably won't be, um, I'll probably be quite lenient with, uh, I'll probably be quite, kind of, uh, wishy-washy with the way I spend my points. Okay, right. 
Okay, get in this cover here. Come on. No, come on. Take, co dude. Take cover. Take cover. Oh, okay. oh, you need to get your gun out, right? Okay. Whoa, no. Don't stand there, mate. Got him. Leveled up. You shooting up. Oh, nearly. Come on. Get, wait, wait, wait. Pistol. No. Ow. Oh, took a bit of damage there. Ow. Whoa. That was dangerous of me. Alright. Alright, let's take a look around. Oh god, 20 minutes in already. What's wrong with me? Pistol, assault rifle, edge. Alright, nice. So, uh, I can I. Oh god, I can do a few things now. Alright, I can level up myself. So, I will. Uh, I want. Uh, obviously, I, I, I'm gonna light me some uh, assault rifles. So. Sure. Sure. There we go. Uh, codex. Uh, uh, weapons, armor, and equipment. Combat hard suits use a dual layer system to protect the wearer. The inner layer consists of fabric armor with kinetic padding. Areas that don't need to be flexible, such as the chest or shins, are reinforced with sheets of lightweight ablative ceramic. The outer layer consists of automatically generated kinetic barriers. Objects traveling above a certain speed will trigger the barrier's reflex system and be deflected, provided there is enough energy left in the shield's power cell. Armored hard suits are sealable to protect the wearer from extremes of temperature and atmosphere. Standard equipment includes an onboard mini frame and a communications, navigation, and sensing suite. The mini frame is designed to accept and display data from a weapon's smart targeting system to make it easier to locate and eliminate enemies. Damn. Let um, me just see if I can't level these guys up. Sure, that'll be very useful. Can I. I can, right? There we go. The equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Da, 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 da. There we go. Right. Uh, accuracy rating, not as good, but does a decent amount more damage. Um, and it, I assume that means it takes longer to heal, uh, to overheat. Sure. Right, there we go. Right. So we're all doing alright. Is that, is that like my Medigel ability recharge or something? Okay. Right, let's get my, uh, no, no, no. Nope, there, yeah, that's the one. Right. This is the dig site. The beacon was oh. right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Do you reckon there survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. Right, let's go it's just then. on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Right, let's go there then. Uh, journal, area map. No, wait, journal map. Oh. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Okay, sure. Do that. Let's go. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Oh Keep no. Guard up. New enemy types. You guys really have been mutilated. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? An absolute nightmare compared to what this is about to be. Do I have any abilities? I don't do it, I just have... I just have this. Dope. 
Easy stuff. I'll stay at that health for a little bit. Oh, there goes my shield. It's regenning. Okay, fine. Let's move on. Right. That door closed. Security locks engaged. Okay. Collect all this loot. Got a bit of Omni Gel. That's nice. Ah, hacking. Let's try it. Some locked uh, objects require decryption or electronics access. If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or electronics interface or by spending on the gel. Repeat the sequence of buttons, press the time. Alright, let's do this. B. Wait, what? Wait. Oh. Oh, right, I forgot how this works. Right, no, no. Uh, I'll, I'll retry that because uh, I forgot how that's supposed to work. Load. There it is. Um, yeah, I forgot how that's supposed to work. I thought it gives you the sequence and then you have to memorize it and press it and put it in. No, no, no. It, it pops. It's like a quick time event. So you just press it and then. So it just shows up when you press it as it goes. See? I can do things. Humans, thank the maker. Hurry. Good evening. Close the door. After him. Before they come back. That's no, all right. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Nice. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Right. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Agents of the Destroyers. Oh, just you wait. Nihilus. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Did I ask about this? Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of uh, data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances, who knows what secrets are locked inside. We have unearthed the heart of evil, awakened the beast, unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please, this isn't the time. Alright, well, you guys stay safe. Make sure you get out of here alive. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop Watch it. Watch me. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Paragon 2. Right, there we go. Journal. Uh, Codex. Let's have a look, shall we? Aliens, non-sapient creatures, common non-sapient life forms. After the Geth secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth. 
a reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the miscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. Yeah, sure, that. Um, cool. So, uh, the techno the dragon's teeth, um, d doesn't bear much resemblance to the geth technology. That's nice. That's a nice piece of information to know. Prologue. Find the beacon. You're in charge of the... Uh, do you know what? I'm not going to keep eating that. <laughs> oh, let's get... Wait. Which direction was it that we were going in the first time? Right, let's get this. Uh... Ah, it's this way. I remember. Sarah? Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Now that is not what I would describe as nice. You know how to make an exit, don't you? There we go, took a bit of shield damage, but fine. Oh, that was good. Oh, insanity difficulty it makes things so much more interesting. It's not that bad. I would have thought, I mean, maybe it's just because the first mission, but I expected it to be like a lot worse. I expected it to get like one shot. <laughs> Alright. Let's have a look. What's going on here? Omnigel? Easy description. Uh, decryption. Cool. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? For now, yeah. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up yes. right before it the will attack. be for him. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. All right. So what happened? Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! 
What do you know about the Prothean Beacon? Do you know anything about the Prothean Beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only... it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Hmm. Oh, have a nice day. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. What's up? Just come out and say it. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Really now? You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the package. How do you know you're not hurting anyone? I thought there might be something we could use. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Thank you. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. You will be. But that's not the point. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. It's obvious it's that I, myself, don't have a good Paragon alive. stat. Ah, that's fine. I have to go. Good luck. Ah, let's get all this loot and stuff. We're just a small farming colony. Why did they attack us? Easy electronics. Oh, nice. Reaper. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Right. Let's see. Any loot anywhere at all. Just chilling about the place. Come on. I know this this has been going on for a little while, but I kinda wanna finish this level, so to speak, before anything else. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. What was the other one? Need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone! If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too! Why didn't they find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Not defending yeah. it, but at least there's a silver yeah, lining. I, I don't really want to think about it. Your name's Powell, isn't it? You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. 
What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? You should care. The supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. Doesn't matter now, does it? It should matter to you when you get out of here alive. Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Just give me the grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up for them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Do you tell? Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Did I... I've not asked these questions yet, have I? Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next... Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They Not must have many. been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is All there right. anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. It feels like a whole other life. Yeah, the place looks different than it did in the pictures. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. All right, let's go. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Excuse me. High explosive. All right, let's change the equipment. Ow! Oh god, take over. Oh, nice shot. Hold on. Oh, I know which, which part we're on. Ow. Come on, you're going down, don't even think about it. Got you. Go on, lift your head up, lift your head up. Alright, you guys keep him down. Down with the shots, guys. I need to move. Oh, nice. You just saved yourself there, mate. Briefly. Ah, can you mind not shooting me in the back, please? Thank you. Okay, that's nice. Ready, gel. Hey, 
It's nice being able to tank shots. I don't know how or why I'm... Oh! I'm on such low health... Well, I'm not on such low health. I've got full health, but low shields. That's nice. Right. Right. Anyone else? No? We're doing alright? I think we're doing alright. Let's go. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Oh! Right, alright, let's hurry up with this. Demolition charges! The Geth must have planted them! Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! We will. That's one down. And we'll probably get some loot while we do it. Oh, whoa. Ah, it's big over there. There you are. I think out my way. Got him. That guy over there is making a move. Oh, sniper. Jam sensor, that's fine. Got him. Alright, come on. Let's make a move on, the, on these. Uh... Keep those guys in cover. Suppressed, as it's called. Down. I'm talking to you. That means you, Chad. Thank you. Less than two and a half minutes. No, what are you doing? Oh, that's the wrong button. Guys, right, we can't all be on this staircase. Move! I'm trying to move. Right, 
right, we need... Oh god, why, why am I doing this? Cool, come on. Right, we've got just over a minute, come on. Nope, this isn't where the thing is. Wait, where are they? Are they... Oh, are they all on this other side? Oh, right, I see. Okay, hang on. Come on, 30 seconds, come on. Eden Prime is not falling, so a bunch of bloody haphazardly shifted together metal. <coughs> Ten seconds to spare, not too bad. Let's go. Right, let's find this beacon. Got a bit of loot as well, nice. Look like that, and we can throw ourselves something together in the uh, the next. In, in a bit, on just later in the game. Wait, what's this? Oh, right. A bit more loot. Oh, this place has just been devastated, hasn't it? What is this? Let's have a look at it. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Saren. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Yeah, you're not, you're not leaving the squad that easy. No, don't touch it! Too We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like a charm. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I didn't have to. I chose to. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. Thanks. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. I will do reaction to that. I detected that. some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. 
It was definitely a dream. I saw. I'm not sure what I saw. Death. Destruction. Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. All the music Make... just cuts off as soon as it goes oh. to her perspective. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Is it me or does the face look different in that Sounds shot? like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I feel bad about Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I've got Williams, though. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. All right. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. He agrees, does he? Mm, okay. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Fair enough. What did you want to talk about? You said you needed to see me in private, Captain. What have you got to say, Anderson? I won't lie to you, Sharon. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. Alright, well, let's go speak to him. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Any idea why? Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? He tried to blow up the colony. That might be what he's after. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. Any idea what our choice of words will be? What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Alright, let's do something about it. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. We need a specter. Let's do it. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Alright. Got, uh, what's this, the Codex log? Oh. Have oh, we got anything for here? Okay, right, let's do the secondary one first. Citadel and Galactic Government. Uh, a massive space station that serves as the political and economic capital of galactic culture. Although the Citadel is equipped with Mass Effect, genera mass effect Generating Element Zero Cores, most of the gravity on the station is generated by the centrifugal force of rotation. Three, uh, rotation 3.5 minutes per revolution. Rotational gravity in wards is 1.02 of Earth gravity. Rotational gravity in Presidium is 0.3 Earth gravity. Total length 
op when it's open is 44.7 kilometers. Diameter when it's open is 12.8 kilometers. Ward length is uh, 43.6 kilometers, and the ward width is 330 meters. Presidium ring diameter 7.2 kilometers. Presidium ring width 553 meters. Exterior armor thickness 13 meters. Population 13.2 million, not including keepers. Gross weight 7.11 billion metric tons. Presidi uh, height of. Uh, I mean, does it really have a weight if there's no gravity? Like, doesn't it depend on the gravity what the weight is? Is that is that in Earth's gravity? Height of the Presidium Tower: 1,047 meters. Meters. Let's have a look at this thing. Citadel and the Galactic Government. The Citadel is an ancient deep space station, presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. Yeah, so, it's, yeah, yeah, that's just a very neat trick, isn't it? Speak to Joker. Go to the cockpit and tell Joker to bring the Normandy into Dark at the Citadel in the next video, because this is an hour long. I hope you guys had a good... I hope you guys had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, have a great time!